Hello good people from YouTube, here's Marcel Durham once again. Uh, I'm here to talk about my uh, Classic Vibe 2019 Jazzmaster um, and all the modifications that I did to it. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is that it's been two years now that I bought it and I just want to walk you through all the modifications that I did and things that I discovered along the way and things that I still intend to do to the guitar because there's a few things that I would like to try out. So, here's the guitar. Um, it's a white. It came originally with a rosewood or Indian laurel. It was Indian laurel, of course, uh, neck. And I changed it for this uh, Mexican. Uh, it's a Telecaster Deluxe, Deluxe neck, which is much wider. Okay, a similar C shape, but much wider, uh, and also of course maple, and with a lot of um, uh, gloss on it, which I removed from the back, so I could play easily because it, like, I don't like the stickiness of the the gloss. I didn't remove from the headstock, and I did not remove from the fretboard. I'm still considering doing that. I'm just being you know careful with it because once you do it, you cannot go back. Uh, I mean, you could go back, but it's a pain to put lacquer back into the fretboard. So I'm still like trying to do a lot of research about the effect of this and if it was going to be good or bad situation. I'm thinking about it, but that's one of the modifications I'm still considering doing. Uh, this guitar came with two actually good sounding pickups, uh, two very um, uh, similar to original Jazzmaster pickups, you know, in their construction. Uh, they were not. They were a little bit thicker and not as wide as um, a traditional Jazzmaster pickup, but they were not P90s or fat Strat pickups disguised as, as um, Jazzmasters. They were truly Jazzmaster, but just a little bit modified, uh, a little bit different, made in China. But they sound good. They sound alright. They sound alright. Once I put the my first uh, mod was the Seymour Duncan Antiquities that I put here on the neck and this pickup was not sounding so amazing compared to the original China ones, believe it or not, until I changed the pots. So that was the first surprise that I had, was like when I changed the potentiometers for good quality ones, then the sound of this pickup went really good. Okay, and uh, and of course I changed the pick guard. I did some shielding on it. Uh, I changed these pots for 500k pots, and it has currently now a 0.033 capacitor or in drop capacitor on the tone knob. Uh, I also put the buzz stop, which did help with intonation a lot. I consider changing the bridge, well, the tremolo here. I consider changing for the Mexican or American vintage one, but I never did because uh, maybe I wanted to save money, maybe, maybe I didn't feel like it needed. To be honest, I don't feel like it needs. It might, there might be there something that I'm missing, but to be honest, I think this is just fine. As well as the bridge itself, because these are the 2019 or the already Mustang bridge with the correct radius, although it does not match the radius of this neck because it's 12 and this is nine and a half. But to be honest, it works just fine. Uh, the bridge pickup, it's now, it was the original um, of the guitar for a long time. Then I switched for a FAT 60s. There's a video about that. And now it's currently with a, a Chinese uh, P90 that came in my Squire Affinity series, which I liked a lot. I liked a lot these pickups. They are proper P90s, you know, like with a, a ceramic with a two uh, magnets at the bottom, glued at the bottom, and uh, the bobbins are a little bit closer and, and taller than the, than the traditional, you know, Jazzmaster pickup. In this case, the Antiquity 2s that I have here. Also, what I did on this tone is that I put a treble bleed on it, and I also put a treble bleed on this circuit. This circuit is exactly as it came, 
but I put a treble bleed on it. And uh, it's got quite of an interesting uh, result because if I low uh, the volume down, I get this, uh, you know, with the treble bleed, the bass goes before. So if you roll a little bit, it actually gets brighter. And it's, it's kind of a lower volume of the, of the neck pickup but it's not as dark as it used to be. So the thing is like you can set up two volumes and just switch here for the two volumes of the neck pickup, but it's a useful, a useful um, sound, as I will show in a minute. Also, I'd like to comment that this guitar came with two little problems on the finish. So there's a little crack here on the neck heel, okay, on the finish. And there's also some weird like shaping here, like the wood got hit or something, they paint on top or something and they didn't over, like they, they should have maybe, you know, send it off, but there's a little dang that I can fill in the wood and then they paint it on top and you can feel here uh, the hit on the wood. But to be honest, I even considered returning the, the guitar at the time that I bought it, but to be honest, I didn't want to go through the whole trouble. I just, whatever, you know, I didn't care that much. Other than that, well, I love this guitar and uh, I like the tremolo. And by the way, I, if you don't have those uh, tremolos that the, the Mexican or vintage one that has the button here to lock, you have to screw in this screw here and lock the tremolo so it doesn't go up, it only goes down and that improves intonation uh, or stability of your, of, your, of your tuning, okay? Not intonation, but you got what I mean. It, it, makes it, it keeps it in tune longer, better. Let's hear some sounds, let's hear some sounds. I'm not gonna record this into Pro Tools, I'm just gonna use the camera sound. So this is my guitar, the amplifier is just behind the, the, the camera. And uh, I got a Hall of Fame on, and I also have a, a Joyo American sound. I like this pedal a lot, I leave it on all the time. And I'm going through an MV50 with a 10 inch uh, speaker cap that is behind the, the camera, okay? So that's the clean sound, completely open, okay, the guitar. <laughs> and the bridge and this is circuit here on top extra sparkly on it which makes it the sound a little bit better and if I roll down then it gets quite thin and I can use this kind of a volume boost or something but this is the clean sound but I never use a guitar like this I never use a guitar in this condition that I show you You're probably not even like the sound because I, I don't like the sound but if you do fine but what I actually do is I, I put on an overdrive, like a, a Mojo Mojo overdrive, and you can see the guitar is gonna be really aggressive now. But here's the deal. I also don't use just with the overdrive on. It's really cool sound, it's more aggressive, it's nicer, and it's actually smoother with the overdrive. But what I like to do then is lower the volume because with the treble bleed, I get the sparkly highs still here at the guitar and the low goes down. So it distorts, with less low end, it distorts a little bit less, but you still have a good focused uh, bright sound on the guitar. But because these are so fat anyway, it's still fatter than a Strat or anything like that. So it's good to have, I like this, this is the, the place where I want to keep it. Also, I heard a lot of people doing the same when they have P90s on their guitars. So, and the, the same with Duncan is really fat as well. Anyway, it's the original uh, Jazzmaster sound. 
I managed to balance balance these two a little bit by putting this lower than this, but it's just subtle. It's very subtle. <laughs> but that's the sound that I like. So I have to re reduce on the guitar and keep the overdrive on all the time to actually use this in a way that I like. I don't mind doing that. It's, it's just a, something that you, well, in this review, that's what I wanted to share with, you know. some blues with it. I almost put the volume up as a, as a tick thing. I don't want to keep the volume up. But leave I leave roughly on eight and seven depends. But if you want to do the blues thing, it's like a fat strat, you know? <laughs> Screamer on the neck. And if you think it's too too high, you can go to your in my case here. You can go to the EQ of my amp or the joy of and just put. so fat that sometimes it's hard to do the, the fast thing. When I go back to the strat I'm flying, but it's good to have this one. It's a different feel. I like the different feel. <laughs> of the modifications that I did on my guitar. Um, sorry if I was lazy about doing the sound through the Pro Tools and everything. But I think that's just enough to show you kind of the characteristics of the guitar. Once again, if you really want to listen to the sound of this in a little bit higher quality, uh, watch other of my videos. I have a plenty of covers playing with this guitar in this uh, current setup. I have um, a song of mine called Lateralization. Um, it's kind of a grungy rock garage rock thing where I use the the bridge uh, pickup all the time and uh, Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put a link here anyway for you guys to to get to know this my song and stuff And if you like uh, the video, please uh, subscribe to the channel And uh, I also have some records in Portuguese that I on Spotify that I did uh, before 
and uh, but my new record will be in English now and uh, there's already four songs including this one that I mentioned there's already another three um, that you can uh, listen on YouTube YouTube exclusively and hopefully early next year I'll be putting this out uh, on all the other platforms like Spotify iTunes etc okay well thanks for watching I hope you liked uh, uh, the guitar uh, for the future I probably will put another antiquity here in the bridge because this one sounds really good and the China one is good it's cool but I think I want a proper uh, matching jazz master set on this guitar and yeah well thanks for watching see you next time bye